Welcome to the third video in our series How to Fight with a Side Sword. After we have learned the attacks and the guards, we can now proceed with Dalagokia's fourth heading, a solo drill to step in these guards. The drill is fairly easy to learn and a staple in my everyday training as it teaches a lot of essential movements of the Bolognese style. It also adapts well to different weapons and combinations like sword and dagger, shield, cloak or even two-handed sword. First, I will teach you five isolation drills so you get used to the movements and after that we will put it all together. Our first exercise is drawing the sword. Position yourself as gracefully as possible heels together and with straight knees. Step forward with your right foot to the right side while performing two reversi, a tondo and a scrollimbro, or a falso manco and a scrollimbro. You finish in coda longa stretta. From here you can reset to the original position. The next two exercises are ribbon cuts, which are just falso followed by a scrollimbro from the same side. First you do it the easy way, leading with your right foot as you strike mandritti and leading left while striking reversi. Going backwards you can do the same thing, always switch between porto di ferro stretta and coda longa alta. If you are familiar with this, we change the footwork. Now we alternate between Cinghiale Porta di Ferro Stretta and Coda Longa Stretta, leading left while striking our Mandritti and leading right while striking Reversi. Note that my front foot is on a diagonal to allow more hip engagement. Make sure to practice this move until you feel comfortable stepping forward and backward. Next up is the Dritto Tremazzone, which ends in either Porta di Ferro Stretta or Cinghiale Porta di Ferro Stretta. So your right foot is always pointing forward, while your left is on the diagonal. The hip does not turn. This step is also called a trapassata in other Bolognese manuals. Last but not least, we have to practice our imbrocata. Start in coda longa alta and perform a reverso ridoppio and step forward with your right into guardia d'alicorno. From here, thrust an imbrocata into porta di ferro stretta without any step. Then, cut a falso manco and a reverso squalimbro, so a ribbon cut, while stepping back with your right foot into Coda Longa Alta. Now let's bring it all together. We draw the sword with our two reversi, advancing with our right. Then a ribbon cut, stepping left. Now a tramazzone advancing right and another ribbon cut, advancing left. Now a brocata exercise, a doppio, advancing right an imbrocata with no step and a ribbon cut, retreating right. Next a tramazzone, retreating left and another tramazzone, retreating right. Finally, a ribbon cut, retreating left from where you can sheath your sword to reset. Okay, again, let's draw the sword. Then we go for a ribbon cut. Now a tramazzone. And another ribbon cut. From here we perform our ridoppio and imbrocata. Now we go backwards with the ribbon cut. Two tramazzoni. Another ribbon cut. And we can reset. Note that besides the imbrocata, you always step 
switching the lead foot. As you get more and more familiar with the drill, challenge yourself. Do it in different surfaces, with different weapons, or your other hand. Walk in a curve. As Dalagokje says, because it provides you with good practice in changing between guards, going both forward and back, which is necessary in the art, and is of very great utility. And so that you understand, this stepping is one of the chief things that you must practice if you want to have grace with weapons in hand. I would like to thank you very much for your attention. If you want to help, share the video with your friends, as good fencing needs lots of different training partners. For now, I wish you all the best for your training and take care, until next time.